We're bringing the world's finest entertainment to Germany. With the very first tournament, we managed to sell out the iconic Festhal and break the German MMA records. And now, it's time to move on. This time, you can look forward to German superstar and former pro footballer Christian Eckelin. For the second time this year, he is going to face the dangerous Brazilian striker, Di Oliveira. A rematch that will settle all scores and give both fighters the chance to show who is better. He once again perform in front of his home crowd. Now as the winner of the battle for Germany. In front of all Frankfurt, the Czech crowd favorite, Milos Petrasek, will try and rob him of the victory. Petrasek takes him down immediately. How will the battle between the best German fighter and multiple time world champion against the elite Czech fighter turn out? Milos Petrasek! The story and the mission continue. Octagon 36, October 15th, Frankfurt. Tickets available for purchase through Ticketmaster DE. Je konečně tady. Zpět na půdu oktagonu se vrací Rado Úškr. Pokud je mezi námi někdo, kdo si Rada z pleca nepamatuje, musí vám stačit tahle čísla. Pět výher, pět ukončení a všechny v prvním kole. Rado Úškr má neskutočné bomby. Proti němu tvrdý a bláznivý super Denis Kudino, narodený na Ukrajině, trénující v Dortmundě, podobně jako Rado Uškrt, ukončuje svojich superů hněď v prvom kole. Má na svém kontě šest zápasů, jednu prohru, jednu remízu a čtyři vítězství, ve kterých dokázal své soupeře porážet všemi možnými způsoby, to znamená na body, škrcením, ale také KO. Oba jsou finišeri, obi dva dokážu decimovat svojich superů od začátku zápasu. Kam neodcházete, teraz přichází nejtvrdší zápas na celé kartě. Úškr versus Kurdino. So here we go, welcoming Denis Kurdinov. Proudly, proudly representing and flying that flag of the Ukraine. Stepping in here on short notice, and my goodness, what a short notice fight this is set to be. Coming up against one of the most notorious, one of the most dangerous fighters in Octagon history in Radovan Uskert. But this guy, this guy has got a particular set of skills, Luke Barnett. Uh, a three-time world medalist in pancreation. Somebody who flies the flag, not just for the Ukraine, but for the sport of pancreation and mixed martial arts around the world. He is someone that's got a record where he has claimed three finishes. Two of those come by way of finish. Uh, two, sorry, two of those come by way of submission. Both those submissions are arm bars, Luke, because when he beats somebody, and I use that adjective and you'll see why in the, in the fight, he uses his physique, his brutal strength to control the opponent, get them down, look for top position, whether it's side control or full mount. Donkey Kong hammer fist come down, the arm of the opponent comes up and he gladly takes it home. Yeah, exactly that. This guy is very specific in what he does. You know, Dennis possesses those skills on the ground and also possesses one of the best Instagrams that we've seen on the card tonight. Ah, <laughs> yes. So, he, I, he rivals yours. Right I would say that it's up there almost, almost maybe, yeah? There's no topless. Oh, there's quite a few topless. Yeah. Pictures, right? okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, if you want to check it out, go type his name in an Instagram and you'll be able to see him. It's fun to look at. He's an entertaining guy. Uh, but when he fights, he's much more, you know, measured and understands what he needs to do. He wants to get this to the mat. We know he wants to get this to the mat. You know, definitely, definitely against Uskrat. He does not want to be on the feet because he will get kicked. His head will get kicked square off. So we need to try and take this down to the mat, get a top position, side control, and like you say, those Donkey Kong punches, and try and utilize that frame and snap an arm off. And you, uh, you see him welcome himself into the cage, and the crowd give him a little clap as well. But just wait for the roar for this guy, the return of Rado Van Uskert.
One of the most dangerous, devastating fighters to ever step in the Octagon cage, Radovan Uskert. Finalist on season two of Octagon Challenge. Last fought, though, in Octagon 11 2019. Stepped away from the sport because he kind of wanted to focus on other things, Luke. He set up his business. He's also got uh, quite famous for his hunting around here, so he built that business as well. But while that time has been going on, he has still been training and training with beasts. You'll see uh, Marek uh, Mazouk later on. This is one of the sparring partners he uses. But we found out earlier today, his other main sparring partner is the former heavyweight, heavyweight octagon champion, Martin Boudet. And Boudet says, listen, he doesn't win every round. Boudet says, I get some of the best and the worst rounds I ever have. There you see Boudet against this guy, Uska. Uska. Five wins, Luke, five wins, all five wins knockouts, all five wins in the first round. This guy, this guy is a destroyer. Yeah, he comes forward and he comes forward hard and heavy. He throws good combinations, normally ends them with a kick as well, high and low. He has real, real, real power in every shot that he throws. But will he be as forward coming? you know, taking on such a dangerous grappler in Dennis. It's going to be interesting to see if he's more measured, he takes his time, has a little bit more movement, or if he's just going to come out Listen, and go hell to leather. Well, you know, when you open a can of Uska, you know exactly what you're going to drink. <laughs> it's going to be feisty, it's going to, be, it's going to sting. But my goodness, it is going to be something to remember. This guy said, this guy said, you all know what to expect from me. Pure brutality. He is back in the cage, long anticipated, long awaited. Radovan Uska. This, the tail of the tape, four years the younger is Kurdinov. Four and two versus four and one height and reach on the size side of Radovan Uska. Tip spot odds though, look at that. Uskert's return sees him as a heavy favorite. Let's get it underway. Let's hand it to Andre Novotny. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest is a middleweight bout that is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Referee in charge of this bout is Petr Ballet. Let me introduce you both fighters. First, we start in the blue corner. He is 26 years old. He stands one centimeter, 170 centimeters tall and he weighs in at 84.3 kilos. He represents Honor Academy Fight Palace Isolon. And the coach in his corner are Vladislav Soroka. He has a professional record of seven fights, five wins, one draw and one loss. Fighting out of Ukraine, Denis Kurdinov. In the red corner, he is 31 years old. He stands 181 centimeters tall and he weighs in at 84.2 kilos. He represents ground system Nitra and the coaches in the corner is Martin Budai. He has a professional record of eight fights, five wins, five KOs, and only three losses. Representing fit for you in Neruda Cup team and fighting out of Slovakia. After three years, he's back in the octagon. Radovan Rado Duskert. Okay, fighters, you know the rules. Three five minute rides. Good luck. Step back. So, touch of gloves as we get set and ready to the, welcome the return. Radovan Uskert against Kurdinov. Look at the odds, though, Luke. Heavy, heavy on the side of Uskert. But Kurdinov coming with that pancreation style, that heavy grappling style that he will look to impose to take away the heavy strikes of Uskert. But do not blink. Uska, one of the most powerful, devastating strikers ever to step in the octagon cage. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Dennis coming out here looking to have a boxing match. Looks very calm on the feet, trying to throw. Oi, that's oh, wrist blasting. Oh, oh. Big shots here land early on. Oh, Uska starting as he left off back in 2019. Look how calm he looks, Luke. He doesn't rush anything, and you can see just how technical his striking is. Yeah, going off needs to be aware that jab it just comes out of nowhere there's no backwards motion with it, it comes straight forward 
Spinning oh, heel kick. Oh. Nice right hand. Oh, and now there's the takedown. He's got to set them up, Luke, because when you are dealing with Uska, looking as loose as he is, it's always that question. We spoke about it on the build up. How long at that time out the effect, the ring rust. Oh! Beautiful take down the fence. That's the most important thing. He can't switch off on the take down the fence. Oh, and they big right hand drop. Uskert possesses and is renowned for, and it returns tonight here at Octagon 35. Out of nowhere, lands that right hand, beautiful stuff. Look at the smile as well, I mean, he looked cool as a cucumber, but now we're seeing the emotion. But we are now, and as a, listen, as a middleweight, as somebody looking at this division and seeing him return, that's petrifying, right? That is petrifying because that is what other middleweights wouldn't want to see. They want to see him looking rusty. They want to see, you know, that a little bit of fading with that timing, with that power, but let's talk through this finish. Yeah, he just seems so calm in there and relaxed, like he'd not been away a day. Tried loads of different technique, just whisked past with a few head kick attempts as well. But here he just breaks away, avoids that takedown so well. And oh. And watch this, the, it was done there, it was done. The right hand connected. Pings in with that right uppercut. And that's all it took, just one shot. And that delayed finish and that delayed knockout. Beautiful work from Radovan. What a return, what a return. And now we look at one way traffic, only one shot coming in that was registered from Kurdinov. But the strikes, they were so accurate. The timing was on point and the power, the power is true. That's, that's why everybody was so excited, why people have been yearning and hoping he would make this return. This is the first step and that is another Another announcement to just why he is such a dangerous opponent. Let's get this official. Let's hand it to Andre Novotny. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee has called a stop to the action at one minute, 12 seconds. First round, TKO. And the winner is Radoslav Uskert. Tak, Rado, vítej zpátky. Děkuji velice pěkně. Stalo to za to trénovat na minutu a 12 vteřin? Určitě ano, lebo však super, jsme mali úplně jiného. Děkuji Denisovi, že to zobral, už asi se pobral preč. Děkuji velice pěkně, že zobral poslední zápas, vlastně tři dny, alebo čtyři dny do zápasu, zobral jsem měl zápas. Gameplan jsme mali na Matava, ale však chvála Bohu, aspoň, že to vyšlo, že jsem ten zápas mal. Pojďme se společně podívat, jestli nám režie nabídne ten finálový úder, ten zvedák. Ty jsi tam naznačil do takedownu? Ano, ano, to mám, chalani to poznají, Buddy, či aj Buddy to velakrát už nakupil po hube. Však všetci moji, kdo so mnou spáruje, tak prostě každý to vie, že tuto techniku mám obľúbenou, naznačím. Takedown a idem do toho dvíhaku a evidentně to vyšlo, chvala Bohu. Chvala Bohu. Není na to vyhrát na týdním frérem KO a toho druhého ještě poplivat, že ho porážíš takhle i na tréninku, i když je to Martin Budaj. Neporážím mu na tréninku, určitě mi nedává z celé síly kakao, ale lebo však to je chlapisko velký, však zase se vypapal. Teraz vidíme, ne? Ještě hubová, že má 2XL, že vyhrá v tom jak hurečka. <laughs> Fantastický. V každém případě... Uh, ty jsi to tajil, jak to jenom šlo, ale ty jsi do toho zápasu nastupoval s nepříjemným zraněním, tak teď už nám to můžeš prozradit. Uh, teraz uh, pol hodinu před zápasem chalani byli přitom, uh, uh, doktor mi opachoval zlomené rebra, takže já jsem zápas neodriekl ani s Matavaom, já jsem uh, išel zápasy so zlomeným rebrom. Děkuji. Jak dlouho se budou podle tebe ty žebra léčit a uvidíme to ještě letos případně? Určitě ano, v decembri by som chcel mať ďalší zápas s Matavávom vlastne 3. či 3. decembra a dám si dva týždne pauzu trošku, takú morálnu. Mám dosť čo dobiehať v lese, však budú chcelí vegáni, ale inak, OK, všetko v poriadku. 
Okay. Ukázal si, že si velký lovec. Radouš, kde je zpátky a třetího dvanáctý. To doufejme, uvidíme v Ostravě. Translate for us now, just what we heard from Oskert. So, Oskert, uh, congratulations for your win after three years and a half layoff. Uh, but, so, actually, tell me, was it even written worth it? One minute and 12 seconds for this fight? Well, yes, uh, first of all, I want to take my opponent because he took a short time notice fight. It was like three or four days. Actually, we had a different game plan, but we had to change it because of this one. But luckily, it worked. Actually, this is uh, one of my techniques I really like. I fake the takedown and then I go for the uppercut. Actually, one of my colleague, uh, teammate, Budai, he knows it. Yeah, yeah, when I talk about Budai, yeah, to be honest, he's fat again. <laughs> and uh, now I want to. And actually, uh, Radovan, tell us, because there was some problem with your injury, we, you, we can tell it now, because I started the fight. Yes, of course, uh, there was a problem with my broken ribs. Uh, the doctor told me it's a um, problem, but I didn't want to call the fight off, so I decided to fight. Now I take three weeks off, I will go for some running, and, I've, and I want to fight on the 3rd December, the next opponent, Matao. Thank you all. We're bringing the world's finest entertainment to Germany. With the very first tournament, we managed to sell out the iconic Festhal and break the German MMA records. And now, it's time to move on. This time, you can look forward to German superstar and former pro footballer Christian Eckelin. For the second time this year, he is going to face the dangerous Brazilian striker, Di Oliveira. A rematch that will settle all scores and give both fighters the chance to show who is better. He once again perform in front of his home crowd. Now as the winner of the battle for Germany. In front of all Frankfurt, the Czech crowd favorite, Milos Petrušek, will try and rob him of the victory. Petrušek takes him down immediately. How will the battle between the best German fighter and multiple time world champion against the elite Czech fighter turn out? Milos Petrušek! The story and the mission continue. Octagon 36, October 15th, Frankfurt. Tickets available for purchase through Ticketmaster DE.